So a lot of people know at least something about living in Arkansas, but there are things people may not know about living here. In today's video, I'm going to give you some of the good, the bad, and the worst things when it comes to living in Arkansas. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Nicholas Stewart, and I'm a real estate agent with IRLT Arkansas, located in central Arkansas. So what are some of the good or bad things about living in Arkansas? And what are some of the worst? We'll start with the fun stuff. Now, one good thing about living in Arkansas are festivals. Now, who doesn't love to have a good time? With plenty of festivals happening around the state each year, you are sure to find something to enjoy. Of course, with the current pandemic, you're not going to find many events going on. Maybe when the world starts spinning normally again, these might be some activities that you'll enjoy. If you love food, and you might want to attend the World Championship Steak Cook-Off at the Magnolia Blossom Festival in Magnolia, Arkansas. Or if you like thrills, you might want to head out to the Arkansas State Fair. It's held in October in Little Rock. Or if you love music, there's the King's Biscuit Blues Festival. It's held on the weekend of Columbus Day, right on the Mississippi River in Helena, Arkansas. Festivals are always a good time to enjoy food and fun. One of the bad things about living in Arkansas is weather changes. The weather in Arkansas has changed a lot over the years. You not only experience dreadfully hot summers, but also very cold winters. And even during the season, you can experience a short change in temperature. One day, it can be 70 degrees, like it was on December 9th, or like today, it can change to the lower 50s. But since about 1970, the average temperature in Arkansas has risen about two degrees each year. And as a result, it makes it hard for people to decide what to wear. And one of the worst things about living in Arkansas are the mosquitoes. The mosquito population in Arkansas is probably the worst things you'll ever experience. The mosquitoes in Arkansas are pretty much active for most of the year, which is about March through early November. But if you have a good bug spray, you'll be fine. Another thing, another good thing about living in Arkansas is there are plenty of lakes and rivers. Arkansas has over 2,000 lakes and rivers covering more than 600,000 acres. This opens up a wide variety of water fun. You can boat and kayak on Grizz Ferry Lake, you can rent jet skis on Lake Washita, or you can float, tube, and canoe on the Buffalo. These are plenty of, there are plenty of fishing and swimming areas, man-made beaches, and diving cliffs thanks to the Ozark Mountains. Now, another bad thing about living here is that most of your big cities are more than a few hours away. With the exception of Memphis, Tennessee, uh, if you live in any part of the state, you're about two hours away from some of the biggest cities in the U.S. Some of these can include uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Dallas, Texas, Branson, Missouri, uh, and Jackson, Tennessee. If you live in Arkansas, Little Rock is most likely the only place to explore if you love the city life. Now, personally, I love both the city and country life. But sometimes you have to get away. No better way to do that than to hide out in the country and hit the lake. Now, one of the worst things about living in Arkansas is the humidity. Arkansas has very humid climate, especially in the summer. This is largely due to a lot of temperatures that comes from each part of the U.S. We're located in the south central part of the country, so you have to expect that. We really have no specific dry season. And most of the time, if it's 65 or higher, the humidity may be around 70%. One of the best things about living in Arkansas are the Arkansas Razorbacks. If you live in Arkansas, or if you've ever visited Arkansas for any period of time, you might be familiar with this famous animal. Yeah, I'm talking about the Mighty Hogs. The Arkansas Razorbacks are the sports team of Arkansas. There isn't any other mascot in the U.S. like it, and about 90% of the people that you run into here are most likely fans. The university is located in Northwest Arkansas, and they are treated like celebrities, almost as close to an NFL team as you can get. So you might want to plan on calling the Hogs if you live in Arkansas. And if you're not familiar with calling the Hogs, you'll learn soon enough. Now, another bad thing about living here is that everything great is in the western part of the state. There's only one reason Arkansas can be considered the gateway to the west. That's because everything great is in the western half of the state. So Little Rock, Arkansas is right in the center. And most of your biggest lakes and rivers in regions such as the Ozark Mountains mainly start at the center of the state and they move west. Most of eastern Arkansas is just flat. So it's mostly farmland, which is still good. Last on my list of good, bad, and worst of Arkansas is that there's no beer on Sunday. Now, I know. I know, it's pretty sad, right? Arkansas is one of 34 states that do not sell beer on Sunday. Now, some of the restaurants serve it, and a few select breweries sell it, but that's because they probably pay a pretty pity to do so. 
you have to stock up on Saturday because you won't find it on NFL Sunday. If you're in Little Rock, you can check out Diamond Bear or Lost 40 on Sunday. It's craft beer, so you might pay a higher price, but it's definitely worth it. And that's it. If you have any other good, bad, or worse things about living in Arkansas, please comment below. I'll be posting more videos about living in Central Arkansas, plus some real estate tips, news every week. So please subscribe. This is Nicholas Stewart with iRealty Arkansas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.